Welcome to my engineering drawing playlist. Today I will be explaining orthographic projections and this is the best video for the beginners to understand the orthographic projections. Let's see first of all the concept of orthographic projection. So here this is actually the object and these are the different respective planes. We can say this is the horizontal plane, this is the vertical plane and this one is the side plane. Sometimes it is called as the profile plane. Now, according to the position of the observer, you can see the different views of this 3D object. So here you can see, if I want to see the front view, then this is the position of the observer and you can see the object is like this. So this is actually the front view of this object. Here that is indicated by the red color. Two planes you can see. Next. If I see from this side, then I will see this L shape. And this plane is also. So here you can see. So from this side, you can see the views on this plane. That means on the profile plane. So it is like this. That is actually represented as side view. Next, top view from the top side. So, in this direction, you can see this plane, this plane, and this plane also. So, it is like this. It is represented by blue color. So see carefully, it is very simple, top view. Next. So these are the three different views and this is the relative position of the views. And that is actually according to the first angle projection method. That means if you see from this direction, then your view will be in the opposite side. Here also you can see, if you see from the top view, then your view actually on the bottom side of this object. So this is according to the first angle projection method. Now see, this is the another object to understand the imagination of orthographic projection. So if you see from this direction, then you can see this plane that is over here, this plane that is this one and this plane that is this one. So from the front side, you can see these three planes. Next, from this side, you can see this plane that is over here, then this plane that is over here. So very simple. Next, from the top side, you can see this L shape that you can see here. And then this plane. Now, it's for the practice. This is actually the pictorial presentation or you can say 3D object. Now just imagine, if you see from here, that is called as a front view. Then can you imagine my dear friend, what you can see from this side? Which color that is actually represented for the front view? Yes, very simple my dear friend, pink color that you can see from this side. So here you can see this is actually front view, very simple. Next, for the top view, you have to see from the top direction. And from the top direction, you can see this plane, this plane and this plane. So this is actually represented by green color. And you can see like this. Next. From this side, that is called as the side view. So from this side, you can see this L shape plane, this plane and this plane. So it is actually represented by blue color. It is like this. 
So this is actually side view. So very simple to understand the views with respect to the 3D object. So that only you have to imagine in your mind and then you can draw these three views with the help of the drawing instruments in 2D plane. It is like this. X, Y is your reference line. This is the front view. First you have to draw front view always, whether it is first angle projection method or third angle projection method. Because of based on that, you can decide the location of the different views. So this is the front view. Then for the top view, you have to draw the projections so that you will get the position of the top view over here. So here you can see this is the top view then side view so from this side you can see the side view so draw the projection so that you will get this side view here you can see so it is very simple here i have drawn the views actually on the opposite side that's why it is called as the first angle projection method one more problem for the practice this is the object now try to imagine in your mind front view. It is very simple. It is like this. Three planes. One, two and three. Next for the top view. You can see like this. Here very important point. This is the dotted line. Because of this edge actually you can't see. It is actually back of this one. From here to this corner. So this edge you can't see from this direction that's why it is the dotted line. So if you don't see any edge in any view then it is represented by the dotted line. Next for the side view it is like this. Once again over here one edge from here to here that you can't see. So this will be the dotted line. One more each here, you can't see from this side, so that will be dotted line. So this is the side view. So now you can draw the orthographic projection by considering X, Y reference line. First you have to draw the front view, then you can draw the side view or the top view. Similarly, for the side view, you have to draw the projection so that you can draw the left hand side view. One more figure to understand the concept of the orthographic projection. It is very simple. Here the very important point is the dotted line. Here you can see from this direction you can't see this edge. That means corresponding to this edge. And one more edge. So these are the two edges which are actually hidden edges. That's why they are represented by the dotted lines. Next, top view. Once again, now you can understand these all dotted lines. Next, side view. Here two dotted lines are there, so it should be noted over here. And then you can draw the orthographic projection of these three views. This is also represented as the first angle projection method. So once again, you can see the same video, repeat it one or two times so that you can develop the imagination power to draw the different views from the 3D object. Can you imagine now the different views of any object? That means are you ready to imagine? Write your answer in the comment box. Thanks my dear friends for watching this video. Press the like button to appreciate it.